The Scotland Police have issued a brief and typically bland statement regarding the incident. They say the police were called to an incident and a report of a disturbance at the Albert Drive area of Glasgow on Friday at 5 minutes past 1. They said there were no injuries and inquiries are ongoing into the circumstances of that incident. At the street level, the police are seeing this as something mild, of course, that statement is uh, quite unmindful and seemingly unaware of the diplomatic significance of that incident. That clearly is not an area within the purview of the police, but we have seen that even when the police have been called in to deal with the street level offence, uh, innocent of the diplomatic dimensions, their response has hardly been convincing. We saw that in March of this year at the Indian High Commission offices in London. You then had people scaling the building, ripping down the flag. There was a confrontation with the security person. Uh, one person was arrested, then let off without charge. There has really been no follow-up to that, despite all the diplomatic pressure that uh, New Delhi could pile up on that. So there is concern now going ahead what this will mean for the freedom with which Indian diplomats can uh, operate and function within the UK. As we saw, it took just a couple of chaps to come and be threatening and be disruptive and the whole program had to be called off. But this kind of thing could go on and on and uh, just a couple of chaps could be alerted to some event, some function somewhere and then appear in a threatening and obstructive way or if at all uh, allowed into the event and if an event were to be uh, allowed to proceed by them as they would see it then it is entirely possible that they could uh, seek to disrupt an event from within through heckling and through other ways. This now really is a serious issue building up for the Indian government. We saw that one of the persons who disrupted the Indian High Commissioner was boasting of uh, their intervention. There was a reference to Canada and that is certainly going to have a long and reverberating consequence. We have seen that the uh, Khalistanis have been quite emboldened by Trudeau's statement in the House of Commons in Ottawa and this will now be seen as uh, and cited again and again. This then will seek to give some sort of a license to a lot of Khalistanis to operate. They have a Trudeau statement or uh, evidence as they see it even though no evidence has been presented in Canada as a reason and a support for any interventionist or aggressive actions that they take on in UK or indeed elsewhere. This is going to be now a serious problem for some time to come. There will be issues uh, between the Indian government and the police in a local country but there will of course also be limitations to what the police can do if the protest is not violent or not openly and obviously disruptive. In this case, it clearly was. This was not just a matter of speaking to somebody or uh, trying to uh, make their point or have their views heard through freedom of expression as uh, uh, the phrase goes to, that gives license to these people. This was a disruptive action. They ended a program that was to have been conducted peacefully and uh, this then really is a question for the police to answer and to address how far and how far and how aggressively they are prepared to go to prevent any such disturbance taking place again.